So we have this opportunity to name an exoplanet and its host star and give it some kind of cultural name of meaning to Trinidad and Tobago. So that is just amazing. Never before in the history of astronomy has there been an object that has um, Trinidadian and Tobagonian names. So we are really excited at the University of the West Indies to have this opportunity. UBI is actually leading this initiative in Trinidad and Tobago because I'm chair or the appointed national outreach coordinator from the International Astronomical Union. It's their 100 year anniversary and in celebration of that, countries have been assigned exoplanets and stars to be able to give them names. Not, not all countries are being able to do this, but Trinidad and Tobago, our proposal was accepted. So therefore we've been assigned a specific star and its exoplanet to give it a name. This is a chance for Trinidad and Tobago and whoever has the winning entry to be immortalized. So just imagine how exciting it is when we say to our children, to adults and everyone alike, look, look up there in the constellation Leo and with a small telescope you can see a star and it's going to have a Trinidadian and Tobagonian name assigned to it. So nothing beats the excitement there. To me, the biggest deal is being immortalized, that your name becomes the one that's selected and will become its official name. So the International Astronomical Union, apart from its scientific designation, will recognize the name as its official name in all literature and whatever that we have to do. So folks, this is a grand opportunity to become immortalized and to immortalize Trinidad and Tobago with a local cultural name for a star and its exoplanet. And how do you do this? Go to our website nameexoworldstt.com and you apply online for the competition.